Pro Soccer Combines, an event where players are given opportunity to showcase their skill in front of professional coaches from all around the world. The competition is fierce and fast. Players are putting their body on the line to take that one step closer to their dream of becoming professional football players. Not soccer players, football players. My name is Moses Duckrow and welcome to the OPSM Pro Football Combine. Let's get it. You know, you go to these events, you don't really know many players, you're not playing with teammates, so that's the stressful part of it. Players, you know, when you're going to an event and they don't have a contract, it's stressful. If you find a player who understands the game, and then, let's say, he has, like, really good speed or something, that's something, like, uh, you can build on. The most important thing any athlete can ever have is believe that they already have it in them. For a coach to come in and really want to see a player, we, we need to have some sort of process to pick the best one. Hello. Myself and Godwin both grew up going to combines, but it was all in America. And we thought of the idea of, hey, why don't we just do this here in our city? We had a bunch of players in our city who wanted to get an opportunity. And it, it was kind of hard to, to just like send emails to a bunch of teams without them seeing players in person. So we literally spent months calling coaches and trying to arrange a time to bring all the coaches and the best players in the city together so they could showcase themselves. And that was over five years ago now, and that, that's really how we started doing the, the events and the showcases were just to help get players be seen. It originally started from our city, and then now we're, we're going everywhere. As we started to get more interest, then we saw that, hey, for a coach to come in and really want to see a player, we, we need to have some sort of process to pick the best ones. When I'm scouting or going to these events or watching games in general. The uh, biggest thing for me is I look at the four pillars. I look at the technical component, the tactical, the physical, and the mental. Their ability to pass the ball five yards and 10 yards, and how consistent are they throughout the game. We like to see how they position themselves within the field and see if they actually understand the game. And when they're playing different positions, if they can play those positions correctly. And then how do they do if they're losing? You know, how do they react? Are they, are they the guys that lead? Are they the guys that, you know, they, they fight through adversity? So these are the things that I look for. But I look at it at, a, at the highest level. Who does it at the highest level? And that's what stands out, you know, players from others. Okay, gentlemen. We can migrate upstairs and find a place in the, uh, the uh, seminar room. First off, uh, my name is Jeff Adai. I'm the co-founder of OPSM alongside my brother Gawain Adai. You guys will see him shortly. He's the head agent of OPSM Pro. And uh, Beck, who could tell you, probably knows each one of you guys by name, video, and everything. We had over 450 people apply for this, and we narrowed it down to 60 players. So we have players here from Ottawa, Toronto, guys flew in from the States today and abroad. So we're really excited to, to see the talent that came out, and we really hope and our goal is to push as many guys into professional opportunities as possible. We want to have talks with you guys since you guys have been selected here and we're excited for that. So I just want to give a clap to everyone for making it. What I'm going to encourage everyone to do here today is I'm going to be talking about some things and I encourage you to take mental notes because if we tried to go into the forest as I drove down here today with Taylor and Trey, I talked to Taylor a few times about how many men literally will try to go into the forest by themselves and try to conquer the forest. That's a hard place to go, especially if you have a dull axe. When you leave here today, your axe is going to get a little bit sharpened. You're going to become a bit of a slayer. You're going to be able to go and impose yourself. Guys, have a lot of fun this weekend. So the seminar is done, so we move on to the training process. And to give you guys a proper insight of what training is like, I'm gonna get kitted up, put my boots, and show these guys how to play football. So what a lot of people don't know about me is I actually played professional football before. 
played in England, Scotland, Sweden and Finland. But never once have I had to do this combine experience. It's a concept that's not really known about in Europe. So today's gonna be very, very interesting to see what it's like and you guys can follow me for the journey. Who's the coach? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna pick five to be in the grid. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, man on up, play! Go, 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 go. My name is Gibo Wabinati, I'm 24 and I play as a number 10. It's kind of hard to play with people when uh, you haven't played with them before. So it's kind of like you're thrown in a game with uh, people who think of football differently than you and uh, you have to learn to adapt. Anything you need, would I just uh, go on your own for a minute? Yep, come on. Yep. So you have to be strong, not force anything. If you dribble too much, they're going to eat you alive here. Play your best and just keep it composed. So off the turn. I'm not gonna lie, it was alright. I still got it. You know, never left. Class yeah, is permanent. Uh, my name is Marcel Joseph. I'm 25 years old and I'm a midfielder. Any of the attacking four positions, really, I'm pretty flexible. It's a lot of things that happen in this football journey of mine, but it's just that next level that's missing. So until I get there, I'm not gonna stop, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's all I wanna do. I can't do anything else. My mom, she's been trying to get me to do, be a police officer, all kind of things. And I told her, listen, like, this is my life. I'm gonna lead my life the way I want. Like, I might not be, I might not be getting paid for it now, but I promise you, in the future, like, it'll be worth it. Like, you just gotta trust in what I'm doing, and because I trust in what I'm doing, I believe in myself. And I just want you to have that same belief. Football is all I know, man. I, I spend hours and hours kicking the ball, and one day I know it's gonna come true, which is if I keep working. You know? uh, when I was in your position growing up, there was maybe one opportunity to make it out of here, and it was, you know, 7 a.m. You can come for the provincial team, you don't make that, go home, and that's it. You know what I mean? And uh, there's so much opportunity here for you guys now with the CPL, with OPSM, with FPL. All these guys are here helping you, and the world is watching now. Why? Because We've proven as a country that we belong and we have talent, more than anything. We belong because we have talent. So something brewing, is brewing here and it's special and I'm excited to see you guys on the field today. Cool. So let's just break it down, let's just break it down and we'll get here tomorrow. Yeah? yeah team on three? Yeah. One, two, three. Team. Team. Day two of the combine and it is game day. The coaches are here, the first game is underway. We've seen a lot of goals, we've seen a lot of skills, and the players are showing some incredible determination. There's loads of eyes on them, and they know that this is their opportunity to showcase what they can do, and hopefully make it through to the next stage. How you doing, man? Good to see you too, mate. Good to see you too. Things are good? Yeah, really yeah, yeah. Good, man. yeah. I was in here a while. Oh, I didn't see you. I'll get you, uh, gonna get you right now. The most stressful time for a player at these combines is they don't have a contract. So they're going into this event, you know, wanting a contract, they're hungry. And you're playing in front of uh, coaches, right? Which, you know, you have seven coaches, eight coaches in front of you. But not only that, you're playing with players that don't know your tendencies or your movement patterns and stuff like that. So I understand the stress comes from that component. You'll go, um... Come on, come on. 
left back. I try to look like, do you have the understanding of the game? That's something that you can't really like teach about. Somebody understands, somebody doesn't. And if, if you find a player who understands the game, and then let's say he has like really good speed or something, that's something like uh, you can build on. First touch for me is, is crucial for a lot of them. Do they have an idea in their mind when they get the ball? Sometimes I feel like I just want to get back on the pitch and, and play again, you know what I mean? He's like lighting a fire under my belly. Okay, here we go. Now we're talking, now we're talking, now we're talking. Finish. Oh my god. Guys, a quick chat, quick chat. Give us some things we're doing well. Well, um, well. Well, always well, pressing. first. What's that? Honestly, pressing. pressing? Are we yeah, pressing yeah. together? No, I think we could be a little bit better. Yeah, pressing. we could be a little better. At times, I think we are. I, I, thought, I think we're good, but at times, I think we need to do a better job of pressing together. So we either go, or we stay so because what I'm seeing is two guys going and then they'll stop and another two guys will go and then everybody's getting tired. Either we all go together or we don't. So let's let's put a trigger in. I think that I started off pretty well, kept the ball, played it simple. 90% of it is good. I need to work on the crosses. It's been a few months since I've had anything outdoors. So a uh, bit of an adjustment, but we'll get that fixed up for tomorrow. One! Oh, oh! Oh! Ask me what I'm looking for in a player. I'm looking for an effective player. Someone to take effect on the ball. Well, congratulations, we play. we play sideways and backwards. That does nothing for advancing the play. You have to have some courage here. You have to go forward. You have to play football. Come on. Drop ball. Hey! That's How did you not call that, though? I think the most important thing any athlete can ever have is believe that they already have it in them. If they have belief as a foundational stone, and then going back to some of the things that we talked about earlier, if they're very ritualized in doing the repetitions and the routines of the controllables and following the process focus, the things that they have full control over, then the athlete is going to stand in his belief. And what will happen there you will see all of this skill come out to the world and we all sit there, you know, as fans and all of a sudden we just think like, wow, how did he pull this off? And I think that's what the key is. What happens at the end is basically, um, we always give a MVP to like, each, after each game, mm -hmm. so the best player of that game and then we give an overall combine MVP. It's the final opportunity for these players to showcase what they can do in front of the coaches. Already you can feel the atmosphere, the intensity and the pressure has increased massively. Some of these players are going to go home today happy with their performances and some of these players are going to go home with regrets. Yes! I hope that for yourself, that you can continue to refine. By that I mean, take the lessons you learned from here and you work on the two. As men, we have to be accountable. And you're accountable now. Going really well. This is now on our third game. Um, you can see that there is, you know, a lot of quality in terms of, you know, players that that can potentially get recruited or or get into preseason. In terms of the overall combine MVP, this was chose by the coaches and and, uh, and the team. It's uh, left back Costa Bola. Yeah, you'll get it up front from a back group. I should have had a lot more. I had four or five. Was the first half so? But most point we won. So. So I'm happy with If I could get six, seven years at the top level, I'd, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. And then I want to go home and give back to the community. I want to go and coach the national team. Uh, in Europe, combines aren't necessarily common, but after experiencing this whole process here, I can see just how beneficial it is, not only to the players, but to the coaches as well. I've been Moses Duckrow, and this was OPSM Combines.